in this quick video we're going to show you how to replace the shroud on your Z-Link. It is the same for any of the different types of shrouds that are compatible with the Z-Link respirator. First, you want to start by opening the visor on your respirator and then releasing the clips that are holding the shroud onto the sides of your Z-Link. So we're going to release that clip that will allow the side of the shroud to come away from the side of that Z-Link. And that's the clip that I was releasing on the inside. You can repeat that same process on the opposite side and allow that bracket to come away from the side of your Z-Link. Now you can pull the rubber gasket out at the back and undo the Velcro straps that are holding the shroud up at the back of that Z-Link. And that will allow the shroud to completely come away from the Z-Link. All we need to do now is undo the screws that are holding the front of the jaw of the shroud in position. Once the screws are undone, that will allow that shroud to come away from the Z-Link completely. To reattach the shroud to your Z-Link, first you want to start by attaching the jaw and screwing that in position. Now you can reattach the Velcro straps at the back of the Z-Link, feeding those straps through the loops to hold that in place. With those Velcro straps now in place, you can then reattach the side clips to the Z-Link. You'll notice that there's a small notch in the side clip that will locate up with a locator inside the channel in the front of that Z-Link. You want to also start feeding that rubber gasket into that channel. That'll make it easier for when we come and push that all into place at the end. So I'm starting the rubber gasket into the channel at the same time as locating the locator inside the channel on the clip so that that all pushes into the right position. I can then press up at the back of that clip until that clicks in position on the inside and also make sure that it's connected and latched in correctly by pressing on that latch on the inside as well. You can then repeat the opposite side again making sure that the rubber gasket is going into the channel and then locating that locator on the side and then pressing that up and clipping it into position. With those clips now in place you can then make sure that the rubber gasket is pressed into the channel up the sides of the jaw and that it's not bulging out like it is here. So you want to make sure that that rubber gasket is pressed into the channel, creating a good seal. Now you can make sure that the gasket is pressed into the channel at the back and that there's no gaps and that is how to replace your shroud on your Z-Link.